Hi everyone, I'm Donna Louise and for the love of puzzles, I went shopping. All of my videos are recorded and uploaded in 1080p HD quality. That doesn't mean that they will automatically play at this high resolution. Make sure to check your browser or app settings and set the quality to 1080p. No one likes watching a fuzzy video. And for the love of puzzles, I want to make sure that you get the most enjoyment out of watching my builds. Now let's get back to the video. Recently, one of our big online retailers had a huge sale, 30% off and more on jigsaw puzzles. I couldn't resist. I had to go shopping. I, I mean, I had to. So I'm walking you through what puzzles I bought and why. The first one I want to show you is this one. It's, um, it's a crazy shaped puzzle. I've never done a puzzle with crazy shapes before. That's why I purchased it. Now in this video, I won't go into detail about the brain, uh, the brain. Oh my goodness, obviously I left my brain somewhere else. I won't go into detail about the brand and everything at this time, but I will in the videos because all these puzzles that I'm showing you, I will build and upload videos for them and time lapses and whatnot. So this one I specifically bought because it has crazy shapes I've never done one before. Is it going to do my head in or am I going to enjoy it? Just, uh, we shall see. It may be one of the first puzzles that I attempt to do. The next puzzle I picked up is a color gradient puzzle. Now I realize it has somewhat of an image in the background because it's as if it's a bunch of glitter. But I've never done a color gradient puzzle. I thought I'd start off with something a bit easier perhaps, that it has texture. I don't know if that'll actually make it easier or more difficult. Um, it is a thousand pieces. I'll see how I go and perhaps then I'll do a traditional color gradient puzzle where it's just really one color blending into the other without any background image. So this I think will be challenging but maybe not as bad, well, maybe not as bad as I think. I don't know, it'll be interesting. At first I was nervous that the glitter meant um, the pieces were actually glittery and I would get glitter everywhere, but I think it's just the name of the puzzle. So I'm excited to try this one as well. I specifically tried to get jigsaw puzzles from brands or images, things that I'd never built before in the past. And this is an image, it's a Banksy piece of art. Not the typical style of jigsaw puzzle that I would put together, but look at it. It's a bunny. How could I resist? I thought it would be interesting and different to build and to do, and I, I wonder how I'll enjoy it. Um, I was thinking it might be a bit tricky at the darker parts, but ooh, we'll see how we go. Also, I'm not familiar with the brand. I wonder about the cut of the pieces. I typically, you know, stick to the brands I know and love. So this is very different from anything I've built before and I'm excited to try it out. Again, trying to buy jigsaw puzzles of different caliber and designs and feels. This obviously looks a lot different than the last puzzle. Not familiar with the artist. I am familiar with the Clementoni brand. I do love their puzzles. I thought this would be a bit of a challenge with all the white and the lighter colors in it. Obviously, I'll be enjoying this part, but is the rest of it gonna drive me crazy or not? So this I think will be, I think it definitely will be challenging and it comes in, I think, is it a thousand pieces? Yeah, so it'll be interesting once I get to the white part, if it's just slug, grind, get it done, or if I'm going to enjoy it overall. I'm sure you're all familiar with the Ravensburger Villainous series. I've not done one. I love purple, I love the Little Mermaid, do I need to say more? This will be my first um, villainous puzzle. I do own the board games and I've played that. I also know there's a really large one, I believe. It reminds me of the Disney Museum large puzzle. I think that's 9,000 piece. I think there's like a large villainous puzzle. And so I think this will be fun to do. Um, I'm excited because I think you can probably easily do the picture frames and then the pictures. I don't know. 
I hope this is as easy and as fun as I'm thinking it will be and that I'm really going to enjoy it. And if so, if there really is that large villainous puzzle that may be, you know, a big one for me to tackle at some point. Another Clementoni puzzle, the reason why I bought this one is because it's so, so busy. I love the colors, I love the image, but I typically go for puzzles that I can plan and map out. I'm gonna sort this area, sort that area, I'll work on this, then I'll work on that. I have a feeling this picture may be a little bit too busy and complicated to do so, um, but I think overall it'll be just enjoyable and fun. Yeah, I'm hoping it's going to be a nice challenge. And finally, the last picture that I picked up in this online sale, I decided, okay, a lot of these puzzles are a thousand pieces. I got to try to do something bigger. Let's go with the 1500 piece. Look at this image. I mean, come on. It's beautiful. It's a Ravensburger. I just loved it. I think it'll be challenging because there's a lot of blue and in the sorting a lot of the areas seem small. I wonder how well it'll sort. This will be one of the bigger puzzles that I do in the near future. I do plan then on doing a 2000, a 3000, 5000, 6000 and so forth and so forth. The largest puzzle I've ever done, you see it on the wall behind me, was a 5000 piece, that old antique map that I have framed. Love that puzzle, love that puzzle. And um, so we'll slowly, you know, tackle these puzzles together. And I just look at this. How can I not buy this? It was beautiful. It's just mystical and mesmerizing. So those are all the puzzles that I recently got in my latest shopping haul. For the love of puzzles, I really hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing. And until next time, ciao.